Hey there, Aries. Welcome to part two of your reading for the month of February 2022. Uh, this is part one. If you haven't watched it already, it is linked up in the pinned comment down below. Make sure to watch it. Uh, in the fr uh, in your first position here, actually, with the bag card, sorry, we're going to start there. You have this horse. It says short journey on the card with the horse. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but it is. With the world, you have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords represents like a separation or separating away from something. I don't know. I talk about this with you every single reading that I do for you. You are making some sort of change in your life. This could take you on a short journey that could have you moving or traveling. Uh, for some of you, I don't think it has to be that big of a deal. It could just be like you're going from one job to another. Something is boiling here is kind of like how I feel it. I can't talk. Um, <laughs> I, like I feel like that lump in my throat type of feeling right here as well. So for some of you, I feel uh, if this is a job change, it's like I feel like you're maybe you're complaining a lot about your current position, job, boss, whatever, somebody at work, right? I feel like it has to do with talking for some reason. And um, <laughs> I keep doing it. And I feel like you're maybe looking to take a risk to go start something else. But it's boiling. Whenever I get that boiling energy, to me, it just says maybe it's taking time for you to get there. It, like the pain hasn't gotten strong enough yet. Not a criticism. I mean, you know, again, I trust me. Like I used to work at a cafe when I was a kid up the road here. And I worked there for, I don't know, forever. I don't know. I was like 16 or 18 when I started working there. I worked there until I was like 21, right? I worked there for a long time. And, uh, or or I was a little bit older. I think I was 22. I'm not sure. Long story short, it's like by the end, I started getting real snarky, real snotty when I was working there, right? It's just, I just had been there too long. It's like, you know, it's one of those things. It's like sometimes I think really there was nothing wrong with my boss. They were amazing. The people that owned the place were great and, you know, everything. There was really nothing wrong with the job. I just had been there too long. I had just been dealing with the same thing over and over and over again for too long. My brain was just tired, right? And, um, you know, I kind of feel like maybe some of you are experiencing that type of energy where you've just been in a situation for too, for too long. Maybe it's not bad. Maybe there's really nothing wrong with it but I feel like your soul is like calling out to grow here I mean pretty powerful stuff like I feel like your soul is um, encouraging you to grow with the high priestess you have the eight of swords feeling stuck you know like I just like I said eight of swords says there is more than one solution to the problems that you could be experiencing so I do feel like it is time for you to you know set yourself free from something and again I feel you have a lot of potential here with that high priestess high priestess is just potential uh, so you have to take action on this, but, you know, looks pretty good. Uh, with the sun, you have the two of wands and the queen of pentacles. I'm laughing because the two of wands, like, take the lead. You know, he is standing at the top of this castle. He is standing where he has always been. He needs to leave this comfort zone right here. There's a village right here, and he needs to get out into the world. The queen of pentacles says you have the resources necessary to be able to do it. Guess what? The resources might not, you might be saying, I want to move, but I don't have money. Maybe you don't, but maybe you have some other resource. The Queen of Pentacles is not just about money. She might have some sort of hidden talent, gift, skill, or ability that could make her money. She might not realize that she actually has a talent, gift, skill, or ability that could get her a job somewhere that where maybe the job is going to pay her to move, right? And so it's like, you never know um, what opportunities exist unless you look, right? And that's part of the high priestess. It's like, things aren't just going to magically appear in your life. You have to go and look for them. And that's what I feel like the high priestess is kind of like encouraging you to do here. Uh, with that ink pot card, you have this staff. It says, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Exactly. You will be taken care of. <laughs> I feel this for like everybody right now. We are definitely in difficult times. Um, you know, this year, I, I, I think about, you know, how we have the U.S.'s, you know, Pluto return this year in 2022. I'm not even that worried about 2022. I'm more, I wouldn't say worried, but I think more about 2025, uh, which I've been talking about for like two years you know, three years now, basically. But um, this year, I think could be just like a little bit heavy. Uh, not bad. Uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity for those people that pay attention um, this year as well. But I do feel like you'll be taken care of and, you know, you'll be fine, basically. I do also feel like this is saying that, you know, you need to kind of go out and look for a new opportunity. With that Seven of Cups, you have the Three of Cups. Celebration, focusing on what you want. Remember, with the Seven of Cups in the first reading, we were talking all about how you need to focus on what you want or you need to start figuring out what your boundaries are. I would say both. Like, I would focus, I think you need to come up with a list of like what you want your future life to look like in work, business, or you know, whatever it is you're looking for, it doesn't matter. And then I feel like you also need to work backwards and say, what don't I want? So you know what you can avoid. So you know what to, what to focus on. So, you know, that's what I would say there. 
with the three, uh, two of pentacles, you have the queen of cups. Uh, could be love coming in for you. There is an element of love here. It's kind of like a layer. It's like, you know, it's like, imagine uh, just like, a, a picture right of your like i'm seeing your life like a picture in photoshop but if you don't you know, use photoshop you have no clue what i'm talking about it's almost like you're putting a filter like on instagram right it's almost like you're taking a regular picture and you're putting a filter over it that's how i'm kind of seeing love in your life that's how it's popping into my head it's like maybe you don't need it but it kind of adds a certain layer to your life it adds like a filter to your life maybe it makes things more exciting maybe it makes things more sad i don't know but you know it's gonna be up to you i think that the queen of cups could be kind of like a certain layer that's entering into your life. It definitely could be love. By the way, for those of you that don't want love, I mean, it could be like a dog. It could be a pet. It could just be um, something that you do love that kind of adds more. It's almost like adding more color, adding more vibrancy, adding more excitement to your life. With the four wands and the magician, you have the four of cups. Mm, yeah, it's like this. I think this is your challenge right here. Aries is the four of cups. It's like you manifest things, but it just doesn't look exactly how you want them to look. So I feel like being more flexible would be a good idea for you at this time. And just realizing that if you want to manifest a million dollars, again, like I said, maybe it just doesn't happen how you think it's going to happen. Uh, who cares <laughs> if you get the million dollars, right, uh, is what I would say. Same thing with love. It's like maybe you have this uh, whole romantic story in your head about how you're going to meet someone, but uh, maybe you're at work one day hanging out by a dumpster. Maybe someone pops out of the dumpster and you fall in love with the person. Is it the most romantic love story that's ever existed? I, I don't know. Challenge accepted. I think I could probably whip up a movie that would that would be pretty romantic based around that. But um, at the same time, uh, no, probably not how you imagine things. Isn't there a movie with J-Lo? I'm pretty sure. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, moving on. Uh, with the dog here, you have the V. It says V is for victory. So there you go. Clearly a victory coming in for you. There's a lot of, this card's come up like 20 times in these readings. Uh, so clearly there's some sort of victory coming in for you or some sort of win. Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the Justice card. Could be a Libra. You showed up in Libra's reading, by the way. And you keep, you always show up in Libra's reading. They always show up in your reading. So some of you could be attracting a Libra into your life. This could also just be more balance that's coming in for you here, Aries. So I do feel like there is some balance and things are balancing out. You also have the High Priestess here. Um, both cards kind of represent, you know, the High Priestess is in the middle. She, uh, the justice person is in the middle, but the justice represents taking a neutral approach, looking at both sides of an issue. I keep telling people that that is like a good place to be at this time. I'm not saying you have to agree with one side or the other. Again, I know everything is very polar right now in the energy. I totally understand that. And yes, I mean, don't watch the news, but if you just watch the news, everything's this side or that side. It's ridiculous, right? Um, and here I am just like, I am just like hoping and praying that aliens come and beam me up and get me off of this rock, right? Um, I'll take you all with me, all you minnows. But <laughs> what I would say here is that everything's one side or the other. We need to be able to see both sides. That does not mean we have to agree with both sides. But again, being a more flexible person is just going to make you more successful in the future. Uh, and again, that does not mean you have to believe things you don't agree with. But um, being able to see things and kind of like take a neutral approach and see, like, is there something I can take from this? Uh, you know, maybe there's a side you don't agree with in business. Maybe there's a person you don't agree with. It's like you might not agree with them. But they might also have some good advice. They might have something that's valuable. So really, we're going to be finding the gold. Like, you know, you know, the, you know the saying, polish a turd? We're probably going to be finding a lot of gold, a lot of diamonds in turds. I'm not, don't, don't do that. But what I'm saying is that, you know, if we kind of look into maybe people we don't agree with or whatever, we might find some information that's actually very valuable to us. This could be in love. This could be in business. This could be in any other area of your life. So I would just be open to you know different ways of doing things. That's it, uh, plain and simple. With the Six of Cups, you have the Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, teamwork makes a dream work. I mean, this comes up for everyone as well. I do feel like it's a really important time that we kind of co-create, that we build communities, that we help each other out. That's probably where we're going to find the most success in the near future. Three of Pentacles card of quality work. So I do feel like there is something that you're very good at. There's a lot of stuff here about some sort of hidden talent, gift, skill, or ability. I would say that if you've been thinking about starting a business or doing a job or something like that, I mean, look, you have the magician with the four wands. It's literally saying to me, this will set you free. Um, I'm just going to show you here. Uh, these two cards together, it, the four wands is a card of freedom. 
the magician is a new beginning, but it's also like some sort of skill. Sorry, I can't figure this out, but um, there's some sort of skill, talent, gift, skill, or ability you have with the magician. I feel like you need to tap into your hidden talents, gift, skills, and abilities because it's going to have you manifesting things. I just think it doesn't look like your future life, how you see it in your head, like I said. It's like maybe you always thought you were going to be a doctor, and but maybe you have a skill to do something differently. Um, you know, it just doesn't, it's not adding up in my head. It's... Um, you know, it's, it's almost like you're looking at it and saying, no, it that can't be the thing that makes me successful, right? <laughs> and so I feel like you just need to be open to, you know, doing something new. Some of you, I don't think it's that hard. I don't think there's that much resistance for all of you. I feel like some of you have been kind of being pushed in a new direction as far as work is concerned. And you're, I feel like you're already kind of moving towards something else. Uh, for others, I feel like this is saying that, again, you have some sort of talent, gift, skill, or ability that you don't know you have. Uh, with the Queen of, or you do, but maybe you just don't think it's special. With the Queen of Wands and the uh, King of Pentacles, you have the Fool. There you go. Definitely time to take a leap of faith. Uh, definitely time for you to take a risk as well. So, I, you know, I feel like it's a time for you to move towards something new. Probably time to move away from the King of Pentacles as well. The King of Pentacles energy is basically what you have always known. You know, it's uh, kind of like a comfort zone. And I kind of said this in your first reading as well with the King of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, she's like very bold and assertive. She really goes for what she wants and she doesn't um, ask for permission or anything. <laughs> so I kind of feel like there's a need for you to be bold and assertive at this time. Uh, but it's going to lead to a victory. So, you know, starting something new is going to lead to a victory. I think the most important things here are getting very specific, like I said in both readings, about what you desire to have so you can draw the boundaries, especially with people, um, not only in love, but also work, you know? If there are lines that you don't want crossed, then I feel like you need to make sure that they don't get crossed. And then you're wasting wasting less time as well And when we do this. Again, we, we don't have to be mean or jerks to people, but if something isn't working, then you can just tell a person, you know what, hey, just not working, I'm moving on. Um, the other thing is, is that, you know, maybe you say just not working and maybe they're willing to work on it. My, my problem with that is, is it's like people rarely change. But if you do meet a person, and, and again, you know, it's kind of like a mind effort, right? It's like if you meet a person who says, oh, I'm willing to change, what's wrong? It's like, well, okay, that shows that they're willing to put in the work. But at the same time, it's like if they're changing and being a different person, then we have a problem as well. So definitely something to think about. Um, but what I would say is I, I think that it's valuable to find a person who's willing to work on the relationship, who's willing to make some compromises and things like that as well. So definitely something to think about. But uh, amazing reading. Damn. <laughs> I love this. Uh, so thank you for being here, Aries. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your month.